Bratwurst. Like a German. I'm German. Hey y'all, it's Kimberly and today I'm going to be trying out different worsts. I'm really excited about this video. I actually received a donation to do this by Her Nickel. That was the donation name. Um, and then it also, but like in the email, it said Donna. So whoever this is, please comment down below. I would love to thank you. So the donation I received was for 10 euros. So I thought it'd be interesting to show y'all what I got for 10 euros. I actually got this for 668 euros and I got quite a bit of worst. Um, there's like a large selection that I have going on here. Y'all will see in this video exactly what worst I got and I'm excited to eat worse. I'm pretty hungry. I've been waiting for this video all week long. Max can confirm. Mm-hmm, I can. Yeah, so <laughs> let's get started. The first worst that I'm gonna try is right here and this is... Metwurst. Metwurst. So... <laughs> my assistant here <laughs> um, I got some facts for me about this worst that I'm going to share with y'all and that is that Metwurst is made out of pork and beef and it is kind of a raw sausage I'm excited about this Metwurst uh, it doesn't have a distinguished smell about it there's nothing distinct about this scent there's no garlicky scent or anything like that so yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna get two, because your girl is hungry. hungry. Your Texas girl needs her meat. Mmm! <laughs> okay, this is really good. I'm also really hungry. So it might be extra good because of that reason, but it is really good. There is no overbearing taste to metwurst they don't have it doesn't have um a special taste to it like it doesn't taste peppery like spanish salami i think tastes peppery it doesn't taste like that it's i think a very basic worst to eat am i right yeah for sure max is nodding his head i give metwurst um a 8.5 out of 10 it's really delicious, but I gotta save room because I think the best is yet to come. Kimsir. 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 I hope y'all are drinking with me. Like this video if I am the best drink pour that you've ever seen in your life. Just kidding, because then all this video would have dislikes. But just like this video, anyways. <laughs> Please. Bitte. I've had a salad today. My boyfriend fed me a salad with nothing on it. Cheers, Frost. <laughs> I hate myself for having to edit this video. So up next, my second worst here. I have, um, I'm gonna guess actually. So I have my little list of worst here. I'm gonna guess that this is Fifa Biza. No. Nope, okay. Okay, which one is it? <laughs> That's the salami. Salami. I saw. This is salami. It originated. Originated. <laughs> it originated in Italy. Um, originally donkey and mule meat, but today it is mostly beef and pork, according to my unchecked facts here. Um, this is one with fennel in it. So fennel seeds sounds delicious. The smell almost smells like metzvahs, but a little bit stronger. Yeah, there's a different smell to it too. It might be the fennel, it might be that there's pepper in here. Okay, it's really good. Really, really good. I actually like the metzvahs better. I don't know why. Um, it's good. I like the metzvahs better because it's thicker. And the salami is more thin. And I think the thicker the meat, I like it better because your girl gets hungry. I'm not playing these games. 
<laughs> okay, this salami right here, I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10 just because I like the map was better, but better. <laughs> no, this is not my fine day today. Okay, so next up, I'm trying. So this is more salami. No. No? This is more wiener. So we're going to try the wieners now. And this is Wiener Wurstchen. 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 Würstchen. Close enough. Vienna sausage. Vienna <laughs> sausage. I saw. Okay, so in America we have this thing called Vienna sausage. Definitely does not look like this at all though. It doesn't have a coating and it's in little jars like this and they're really small and they're thick and they honestly get a lot of crap in America for being really horrible but I used to love it as a kid and I used to put it in like bread and wrap it around the bread and just eat it like that and that was my snack y'all if y'all haven't seen the american foods i don't love um since i've been in germany i'm gonna link that video down below so y'all can watch that video but vienna sausage did not make that because even though it is known as one of the lesser foods in america i still love it so throw me the mess boom all right Got my mustard, got my wiener. Mmm! So good! I love this thing. I love the coating on it. Love that, like, bite into it with the coating. Bomb.com. And you see that it doesn't have anything to do with the Vienna sausages in the U.S. No, nothing. This is nothing like Vienna sausage in the U.S. I'm going to give this one an 8.5 out of 10. I really love these Vienna sausages. They're a great snack on the go. Now I'm trying. I'm going to guess which one this is. It looks like this. Sorry, guys. I've been so bad. I haven't even been doing focused points of the sausage. But this is called Cabanos. No. Oh my this is called Fifa Biza. Fifa Biza. Did I say? Fefa Biza. Fefa Biza. Fefa Biza. Yeah. I esse Fefa Biza. Information I have about this one is that it's pepper biters. That's the direct translation of it. That's the direct translation of it. <laughs> Because <laughs> you can't hear Max. <gasps> this is smoked. Mmm, yeah it is. Okay, I love, yep. This girl's clearly Texan. Smoked brisket, smoked barbecue, best. And it smells like home to me. So now I have the pepper biters. I'm gonna bite into it. <laughs> Let's go. Mmm. The more... I chewed it, the more I started to love it. I like the initial bite, love the end result, which is big because a lot of times aftertaste for me is like, eh, and then, yeah. This is really good. It has a really good tender bite into it. Y'all are gonna kill me for saying this, but almost like the texture of Metwurst a little bit. Like it's a softer taste at the end and you really, I really like it a lot. I like that texture. If y'all haven't seen my, my Met Wuss video, I'll need you to check that out. Edit! I got corrected on this. I meant the texture tasted like Met Brochen to me. Not Met Worst. Feffa Biza. I'm gonna give Feffa Biza a 9 out of 10. Lekka, lekka, lekka. Oda! Alright. Now for the next one is this one. It doesn't smell like pepper, salt. It smells kind of bland. Like there's, it's just a basic meat smell. There's no extra smoke smell, hickory smell, anything like that. Um, it's pretty hard. There's a hard coating on the outside of it. I'm gonna be fancy. <laughs> 
She's trying to cut with the protective plastic on it. Okay. So, here we go. Good. Really good. Mmm. Yeah, buddy. Okay. Mm. It has almost a little bit of a smoked flavoring to it. Is it smoked? Oh, I didn't get facts about this one, huh? You didn't guess which one that is. Right? Ah, I didn't guess which one it is. Okay, I can do it after the fact. Fleischwurst. Nope. This is Cabanas. Okay. And that makes sense because I thought that this tasted smoked a bit. It's not as strong smoked flavoring as this one right here, which was the five five FIFA Biza Biza Fefa Biza. Fefa Biza has less of a smoked taste to it, but it still does have that stench of I'm smoked. I'm gonna give this one a eight out of ten. It was good, but I like this one better. Dun, dun, dun. Know which one this one is because i've heard a lot about it i've heard it's a pretty adventurous one for americans to try it's pretty scandalous the bloodvust blood did i say it right blutwurst blutwurst like a german i'm german this is blutwurst and let's see what my assistant had for me it is pork blood and meat boiled, contains amongst other spices, thyme and ginger. One of the oldest kinds of sausages first mentioned in Homer's Odyssey. Whoa, very interesting fact. So yeah, I'm really excited about this actually. Um, I don't know why this is so adventurous for Americans to try. We eat our steaks bloody, so I don't understand why this is any different. But um, apparently, like, a lot of Americans don't like it. Um, I like bloody steak, so if I'm comparing it to steak, then, yeah, I'm going to like it. Oh, yeah. This is good. Blutwurst is good. I don't know if it's because it's new for me and exciting for me because I've been told Bluetooth is so gross, blah, blah, blah. But I'm gonna give Bluetooth a 9.5 out of 10 because I liked it and I was told that I would not like it. So I'm gonna give it a 9.5 out of 10. So now I have the um, Fleischwurst, which is pork and beef boiled, different spices, also called Leoner, originates in Lyon, France. And um, this to me just looks like typical lunch meat, um, but we will see what it tastes like. It smells like lunch meat to me. <laughs> it's good. I can definitely taste a little bit of different spices in it. Um, really good, but it's nothing different or... OMG worthy for me. There's nothing spectacular about it. I'm gonna give this an 8 out of 10. It was delicious. I would eat this every day. I saved the best for last and I've actually tried this one quite a bit. This is my favorite one and I had to put it in here because it is my favorite one and I don't think I've ever had it fresh and this is fresh from the deli so that's exciting and this is tea bus. And Tivas is lean pork and beef smoked. Gets taste from paprika. I've had too much beer. Gets taste from paprika, juniper, and skin of nutmeg fruit. Doesn't contain tea. Was typically eaten at tea time. Okay, that's actually a really good fact to know then, because I've always wondered why is it called Tivas, and that's why because it's eaten at tea time. I feel like that is a very German tea time. <laughs> I don't think the Brits do it that way smells like I want to eat it it's really good it smells like um meat <laughs> I don't have any other description for it it yeah it smells good I usually like to spread this on my bread with some nice full corns brought 
it's just such a smooth taste and it, they've managed to really get the sodium right in this worst. It's like not overbearingly salty, but it's just the right amount for me. I'm going to give Tivas a 10 out of 10. I'm really, really biased on this one. I know. Kill me. You can't shoot me though because you're in Germany. <laughs> but <laughs> I really enjoy this worst a lot. Love it spread on my bread. And um, so, sorry. This takes the lead. It's a 10 out of 10 for me, Tivas. Donka Shun for watching this video. <laughs> Seriously guys though, if y'all enjoyed this video, please think about subscribing to my content. I post a new video every single week. And make sure to like this video if you liked it, even share it with your German friends. Maybe they'll find this amusing, I don't know. I love you guys so much and I want to thank you to my donor who sent me my donor. My, oh, my organ donor. I want to thank my donator. I don't know what to call it, but thank you her nickel for donating the money for me to do this video. I really appreciate it. I'll see y'all guys next week. Ciao, tschüss. Bis dann.